Hey everyone, Mr. Sujano here. In this video, I'll show you how to patch your ROM without having to download any software. Let's get started. All right, to kick things off, I'm a big fan of ROM hacks. If you don't know what a ROM hack is, at a really high level here, essentially it's just a fan-made edit or series of edits to a base game. Sometimes these edits add additional levels in, sometimes additional characters, maybe additional items. They change the story up. Sometimes they're so extensive, they create a completely separate game. If you want to learn more about ROM hacks, head on over to romhacking.net. It's a fantastic site with a lot of of great information. You can even find some hacks here. Now, more and more often, I'm seeing these ROM hacks available as patches only. If you download this patch and try to play it, it's not gonna work. You have to patch the base version of the game in order to get the ROM hack to work. Fortunately though, it is a pretty straightforward process. Now there are a ton of different ways to patch a ROM, but my favorite way here is through a website and it doesn't require any software whatsoever. You can even do it from a mobile device, which makes your life a heck of a lot easier here. The website is www. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce this. It's macro, is it bledo or bledo.com slash rompatcher.js. I'll leave a link in the description below to make your life easier. This website has it all. So all you have to do is just upload your ROM file, upload the patch file, and then press apply patch. And that's about it. Another great thing about this site is that it lets you know if there's an issue when you're trying to patch your file. For example, if you use the wrong version of a ROM, it'll let you know here, it'll give you an error. It'll still let you patch it if you want, but it basically tells you it's not gonna work. To show you exactly what I mean here, I've selected a version of Super Mario World that isn't compatible with a patch that I have. So I'm gonna click browse here, select a patch, and right away it'll tell me that there is an issue. It says source ROM check some mismatch. And as soon as I select the right version of the ROM, the error goes away. I get a nice green check mark. All I have to do is just click apply patch and I've got the ROM I'm looking for. To show you this again, because it's a very simple process, I'll click the ROM file that I'm looking for and it's Super Mario World. What I wanna do next is click the patch file I'm looking for. So I have it downloaded and ready to go here. I can see the green check mark. I know everything is gonna be okay. I'll click apply patch and that's about it. I'll click OK to save the file. I can load this file up in an emulator and I should be good to go. Just a friendly word of advice here. Sometimes ROM patches and ROM hacks need specific emulators in order to work properly. They usually let you know right when you're downloading it and they'll say, hey, you need this specific emulator. So just make sure to have that specific emulator and you shouldn't run into any issues whatsoever. Anyways, that is all I've got for today. Let me know your thoughts on ROM hacking in the comments below. Do you have a favorite ROM hack that you want me to check out? Let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, leave a like. If you didn't like this video, leave a like. Hit that subscribe button, check out my other videos. Thank you everyone, take care.